Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I've been working from home for a number of years now, at least uh, a part of the week. And two things I really can't live without are firstly my wonderful desktop computer. I do have a laptop, but I'm a big fan of desktops. And the second one is a multi monitor workstation. I personally use three screens. Some people are really happy with two. Other times, you'll uh, if you ever see those uh, those news clips where they where there is a financial crisis and they zoom in on the trading floor of a bank, you'll see guys with crazy crazy nine screen arrays. So there's really the only limit to how many screens you can set up is how many your graphics card can support. But one advantage that you get when you use a multi-screen environment is if you have your screens up on something called Visa mounts. Now, Visa, V-E-S-A stands for, I'm gonna have to look this one up, unfortunately, on my side screen here, Video Electronic Standards Association. And Visa mounts, it's basically just a uh, industry standard hole pattern. If you ever look at the back, if you have a flat screen LED monitor, you might see four holes. Uh, and if you haven't used a uh, mount before, and by the way, mounts are not expensive if you're looking for a double mount, you can get them in uh, sort of side by side, you can get them two vertical, so like one here. You can find them all on Amazon for 20 to $50. They only get expensive if you're going for fancy articulating ones. So once you have your monitors up on a mount, one advantage that a lot of folks don't think to take advantage of is the fact that you can now swivel them because the visa your monitor is on a visa mount and the visa in most of the mo most of the monitor stands you can buy are actually rotatable so uh, that's a big advantage you can have one of your monitors in vertical mode sometimes called document mode and it's just basically rotating your monitor so instead of being a widescreen monitor at a 16 by 9, it's 9 by 16 aspect ratio. In other words, it looks like this. Now, um, if you want to do that, then as well as physically turning your monitor on its mount, you're going to want to configure that screen in your uh, operating system, whatever you're using, to tell the OS, hey, this monitor on the left isn't in, it's not in the default normal position of landscape it's in portrait mode or document mode so please arrange the pixels in that way so uh, most folks are using windows and i'm sure there's windows uh, videos about how to do this i use linux as i've mentioned a number of times here so i'm going to uh, show you guys if you're also using um, linux a uh, very simple program you can use to make that magic happen. So let's uh, jump over to it here. Now this uh, this is a GUI, a graphical program that's called <coughs> A-Render. And you can see I have my three screens set up here uh, with their HDMI outputs. Now let's say I wanted to use my left screen HDMI 1 as a document view monitor. So what you do is right click on HDMI and then for orientation, you want to go for, now it depends which way you're gonna do it. If I rotate left, you can see it's going to be with the uh, information spread like that. Or if I go right, it's going to be, so you can just look at what way the text is arranged, whatever way uh, makes sense to you. So that's gonna be where the bottom of the monitor is or, or the taskbar. So what I'm going to do without actually moving my screen is you can then save this as a desk uh, as a uh, screen layout. So when you go layout, save as and a render, it's automatically going to jump you into the screen layout folder, which is located in your username in the uh, system. In the system, so my one is Daniel, and you can see under dot screen layout, I have default dot sh, and I actually have. So it's just a simple bash script. I actually have this as a auto start program. So as soon as my, I'm using LXDE as my desktop environment, as soon as I get into my desktop environment, it's going to automatically, and then literally in a couple of milliseconds, run uh, this program. And we'll take a look at it in a second. It just literally tells the operating system what way to arrange the monitor. So that's default. And what I'm going to do now is create a left document view.sh and save it. And so this is what I recommend doing. Now it's a bit of a, you could assign these to uh, key bindings, but what I basically do is just, I'm just gonna jump here into my screen layout folder and I'm going to copy 
the newly created bash script and put that on my desktop alongside my default script so what you can do is with two clicks uh, you can change into now I presume if you're going to be using this you're not going to be using it that often right so you can either if you want to create a folder on your desktop called uh, monitor you know layouts and this is just again I've just copied these two bash scripts out of the uh, default folder and I've just plopped them here and what you can do is just double click after you change your screen you'll get back in you'll get into the uh, left document view uh, folder and then just click on default again if you want to rotate your screen back and go back to working with your monitor conventionally now just to show you guys what these are they're very simply bash scripts reading with a couple of lines uh, calling out the x render command so you can see this is my default monitor layout uh, and you can actually sort of parse these yourself so the usual way to start a batch script bin sh x render minus minus output so that's saying the dvi outputs off then it's calling hdmi one output it's saying the mode is going to be 1980 by 1080 that's the resolution position is zero by zero and rotate the rotate variable here sets the rotation now if you look at the second output output dpi off two output hdmi 2 this is the second screen in my array here it's also a, a 1080p monitor so we're going to go for the same mode and now the position is 3840 pixels so i actually stand corrected 3840 is 920 by 2 so it's actually hdmi 3 that is my middle screen and that has the offset of 1920 so we're starting from the left here and we're saying this is a zero zero offset then we need a 1920 offset on the x axis x x axis zero on the y axis and for the right screen we're going to be using an offset of 3840 pixels which is 1920 by 2 from our starting point across the x axis so that that screen is put in the right position and the rotation is going to be normal so that is pretty much all there is to it if you do have a multi-monitor array set up uh, using uh, visa mount in other words you're not just using the default monitor stands that most almost all monitors come with then uh, one advantage you can take is being able to put one or many of your displays in vertical document configuration and if you are an ubuntu user you can use the a render gui which is very simply a graphical front end for x render and all you have to do is uh, right click and configure change the orientation of the monitor you want to use in desktop mode then go ahead and save that and make sure to also save your config your monitor configuration before the rotational change and then save them somewhere that you can easily access them from uh from your desktop and all you need to do is a couple of clicks and one rotation whenever you want to go between a uh, document mode on one of your uh monitors and regular display on all of them hope that video is useful if you want to get more videos from me about technology ubuntu linux and other subjects and do please consider subscribing to this uh, youtube channel and thank you for watching